Today I want to talk to you about the short hop, or in some places they call it the half volley. The short hop is a really important shot to have at your disposal because it gives us a good way to get to the kitchen line when there isn't always the possibility to let that ball come up to a normal comfort zone, around about waist height. You're going to want to be able to use this on return of serve, for example. When a good, hard, deep serve is coming at you, ideally, don't back up, stand your ground, bend your knees, drop the paddle to where you think the contact is going to be, and move towards the shot. You'll also need to be able to play this shot on a fifth ball. Sometimes after a third ball hasn't gone so well, and you start moving in early, a sharp volley can get the ball down to your feet. Having the ability to play the short hop as you're moving towards the kitchen with enough touch to safely get there is a really important skill. The key things to be able to play this shot are getting low, bend those knees, that's what they're there for, drop the paddle down in front of you, keep a nice firm grip relative to the pace of the ball. The faster the ball that's coming to you, the firmer you're going to have to be with your hand. Make sure you keep a very compact backswing. This ball has a lot of energy on its own. You don't really need to supply much at all. A very simple drill to help you with this shot is having one player at the kitchen line. They are the feeder. The player working on this shot is going to stand roughly midway between the kitchen line and the baseline. The feeder will continually hit balls around about the foot level of the player. The player needs to make sure they are bending those knees, stepping towards the target, keeping the backswing very short, and a nice firm grip pressure. The grip pressure you're going to need to use for this shot is a little different from forehand to backhand. The forehand inherently has a stronger wrist position than the backhand. So if you do need to play the short hop on the backhand side, you'll need to grip a little firmer, towards a, a 7 or an 8 out of 10. Whereas on the forehand side, a 3 or a 4 might suffice.